Seven consecutive losses for the Raptors. One in nine in their last 10 games. And they're now 22 games under 500 at 23 and 45. Tied with the Memphis Grizzlies uh, for the sixth worst record in the NBA. We all knew that when Scotty Barnes went down with the injury and when we had the feeling his season was over, the season was going to be a wash. But I think all Raptor fans are now seeing how important, how impactful Scotty and Jakob make this team. When we're running out of starting lineup right now, of Emmanuel Quickly, who struggled, right? 0 of 6 from 3, 4 of 15 from the field. It wasn't a great night for Q. Gary Trent Jr., who, yeah, sure, 6 of 12 from the field, 2 of 6 from 3, had 3 steals, it's fine. Kelly Olenek at the 5, love him as a bench, bench 5, but that's about it. And even as a bench 4 would be nice. Well, I'm not bench 5. Grady Dick, who struggled again tonight. 10 points and 4 of 11 from the field. Was 2 of 3 from 3, but struggled there. And Ochai Abaji. You're not going to win many games that way. Right? And watching this team recently lose to teams like Portland. Lose to teams like Detroit. And you play a team like Orlando, who's significantly better than those teams. And you're... Never really in the game. Like, sure, in the first half in the last game, yeah, they were kind of in it. But they were really never in it. Because you knew that second half that they were going to come out and fly. And they did. Tonight, it was kind of similar. You were tied at the end of the first quarter. You were down five at halftime. And then the wheels fall off and you're... You know, you're you're minus nine in the third quarter. Then you're down double digits heading into the fourth and it's curtains. And it's just, it's hard to watch at this point. I mean, yes, we're, we're getting close to the end of the season. Tonight's game was number, let me just bring that up here real quick. Uh, number 68. So what is that, like 14, 15 games to go before the season comes to a close? And I think a lot of Raptor fans are just thinking, let's just let's just get to the draft, let's get to the lottery, let's get to that part because that's when you actually you actually want to see this team and what they become for the future. Right now, yeah, there's nothing really to it. Like you can say, other than Grady and obviously Kelly because he's signed here, Emmanuel quickly, and uh, obviously. I don't know. I mean, Gary's probably going to be gone. War is a free agent. Bruce Brown could be traded in the offseason. And then we're getting down into the Jonte Porters, Jemias Ramsey's guys. Like, that's where we're at. You know RJ's going to be around. You know Scotty's going to be around. You know Jakob Pertl's going to be around. So that's fine. But having none of those guys out there right now is... It's hard to watch because you're not really sure what to do. Do you cheer for the team because you want them to win even though they're severely untalented when it comes to the teams that they are playing? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Jordan Wara had a great game, so that's awesome for him. He'd be an interesting guy to maybe keep around. 18 points today and 7-9 shooting, 3-3 from the line, 1-3 from distance. It was actually a plus 10 while he was out there on the floor. But that is now back-to-back games for Grady Dick where he... Again, I think in the last game, he was a plus, a minus 32. Tonight, he was a minus 27. Him and IQ were the worst. Minus 26 and minus 27. And those are the guys you really care about. Like, that's where this hurts. It stinks. But, doesn't really mean anything in the right now. So, we move on to the next one. Because, uh, I got nothing else to say about this. And look at that. The the Spurs beat the Brooklyn Nets today. It doesn't really do much for the Raptors because they the Spurs still have eight less wins than the Raptors. But whatever. Uh, on Wednesday, the Raptors host the uh, the Sacramento Kings at 7.30 at Scotiabank Arena. Um, hope for a good effort. I don't know. At this point, that's all I'm looking for. Give me a good effort. Hopefully, quickly and Grady have good nights. 
about all I got for you. All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and uh, whew, whew, not this game today, hit that like button. I do appreciate the Hit subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on this uh, crap fest of a game. Uh, go nuts. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you've not done so already. And I will talk to you guys. Uh, Jay's edition next week. <laughs> all week away. Recapping this upcoming week's games for the Toronto Blue Jays. Leafs edition. They play on Tuesday. So no games tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, the Leafs are in Philly. Taking on the Flyers, I believe. Hold on. Let me just, let me, let me check that. I think it's a 7 o'clock puck drop. Yep. In Philly. Taking on the Flyers there. And as for the Raptors, they'll be on the court on Wednesday. Host in Sacramento, 7.30 tip off there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And the game being over, we'll talk to you guys then.